Good evening everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in tonight's free video I really wanted to kind of make a case just for one particular trade idea and where it stems from. So when you look at the SPX and it's not shown on this particular chart but um, we're right up against the 200 day simple moving average. We came right up into it yesterday, we held below it today and it's been a significant area of resistance so far. If that area of just basic moving average type resistance can continue to hold, it would provide a very interesting confluence with what we're also seeing in the VIX. So the VIX can be helpful to determine periods when volatility may be a little bit too extended in either direction. And if you look at the daily chart of it, it's just in a very similar situation based off what you saw here, here, and now this is just another instance of it. Now it could keep moving lower. There's of course no guarantee that it's going to be a reversion to the mean type situation, but that's what I think it will be. You know, I think at the very least you see the VIX back up into 18, maybe 20. So if the VIX can pop back up, if the SPX can hold that area of resistance, then that should give us more downward prices in equities. If that is what we start to see, one place that will be worth coming to look at is JP Morgan. Just the idea that financials will move lower of course, if the market sells off, it's also not a perfect idea just yet, but maybe you could get down into 100 for a monthly expiration. Uh, you know, the idea of trying to pin or at least work these bigger, you know, very liquid names into large psychological areas for a monthly expiration is something I enjoy. You know, it doesn't always work, but I think that could call for about a three-point decline in J.P. Morgan, give or take. And then the other complementary analysis that I would make on this is that you've got a squeeze in play, so we're thinking that a sizable directional move is going to be coming for this given time frame. And there's other things that I would run here, like a comparison of saying, you know, this was the big flush move down. And the rally that you have seen, really all that you're doing is just retracing the big part of the sell-off. So measuring the swing high against this swing low, you can see that you're right at that 6.8 retracement. So that's generally a pretty important area to focus on, as you can see, right? We came up into this area on the 18th. We're now on February 6th, and this is still an area that is being respected as resistance. So that's one thing that has me thinking that this has the potential to roll over. If nothing else, I think you've got a very easy area to define your risk against because this high also came in with a very nice relationship in time. So it had a retracement in price, but then also think about how this swing low against this swing high, how long did it take for that to unfold in time? You know, you can look at the swing and they kind of start to look similar, but then if you come down and you actually use your drawing tools, we can say from this trade to this trade was a given you know, a given moment in time, or it took a certain amount of time. Then if you compare that to the advance that we have gone through here, it's awfully similar, right? So it's just the idea that I think you could pause here. The rally you've come through is very similar to what we've gone through before and then ultimately failed from. So I'll be keeping an eye on this one as we get into Thursday and Friday, and then potentially the monthly expiration next Friday. And I hope that provides some good trading opportunities for you.